Well, two women say that they were walking down a Knoxville sidewalk near the UT campus when a man attacked them just out of the blue. Yeah, we're told Brad Collins is now facing assault charges tonight following what happened Monday morning in the Fort Sanders neighborhood. One woman telling an officer that Collins was walking in front of her, then stopped at a store. When the woman tried to get around him, she says Collins punched her in the eye and tried to choke her before running off. A second woman says Collins ran up and punched her as well. The officer writes in his report that Collins was mad and hung over. Now this comes one day after a young woman told Knoxville police that she was assaulted by someone pretending to be an Uber driver after she got into his white SUV. Now in light of these recent reported assaults, 6 News reporter Molly O'Brien is on your side tonight speaking with a self-defense instructor on what to do in these types of situations. The Knoxville Police Department reminding people to never get inside a vehicle with a person they don't know. This warning happening after a 22-year-old woman was walking back to her apartment on Sunday morning just before 4.30. The victim telling police a man said he was an Uber driver and offered her a free ride. Once in the car, the victim claims the man attacked her before pushing her out of the vehicle and driving off. First and foremost, advice is to make sure that if you're waiting for a vehicle to know exactly what type, the model, the color, and if it matches the license plates. Lillian Lim with the Iron Impact Knoxville tells 6 News the best measures you can take to protect yourself are preventative ones. Being vigilant is so important, so no matter where you're really going, you want to be able to keep what we call your head on a swivel. So it's being able to be aware of what's in front of you to the size of you and even be aware of what's behind you. Not that you can do that all the time, but it's being not distracted. If those measures are taken and you are still under attack, Limp teaches us some moves to defend ourselves. You're looking at a demonstration here, but let's really break it down on what to do. I feel that hand get grabbed. I don't know who it is. I'm not going to wait to find out. I'm going to turn and I'm going to burst in towards them. And with my free hand, I'm doing what's called a palm heel strike. I'm using the meaty part of the heel of my palm, pulling my fingers back and I'm striking towards the face. Anywhere between the eyebrows and the chin are what we call soft spots. It now let's do a different scenario. You're walking to your car and want to make sure it's safe enough to hop in. Getting back to my own vehicle, first of all, I got to make sure that even before I leave, it's locked. That, that's the first and foremost thing. But upon returning, I'm going to pay attention to see if there's anybody around that's close to me. I mean, if I'm here and let's say there's Joe Schmo standing two feet away from me, honestly, maybe before I get in, I might just take a stop and, and look see what this person's all about. I would never turn my back to them. Sometimes I'll, I'll bend down and I'll look and I'll see if there's, you know, if there's feet underneath. And if there is, I'm not getting into that car. Lim tells us it's important for people to stay vigilant and be confident. In Knoxville, Molly O'Brien, six on your side. Molly, thank you. As far as specific situations of the man claiming to be an Uber driver, for example, we did reach out to Uber. They released a statement, the company saying in part, quote, riders should always match trip details like the license plate, vehicle model, and the driver name with the app before getting into a car, end of quote.